Welcome back to Mobile Geeks EIA coverage 2017. Behind us, actually just heading past us, is what we're going to be seeing in just a second. This guy may or may not get run over by a car. The answer is likely may not. <laughs> because here, we're here with Holger from Bosch, who's going to explain a little bit about... Oh, there he goes! There he goes! Whoa! And that was the... What system was that in action? Oh, this was the automatic emergency braking on cyclists that you experience right now. And the guy who was... Uh, the guy who was so... curious to experience that was Woody Radler, we call him. <laughs> <laughs> so... We're sending the bike right in front of the car, and then there's a bunch of sensors kind of at play here. Yeah. Do you want to head to the car and just take a yeah. look? Yeah. Let's go. Careful. Oh, watch out for what Maybe we could just experience it first. Oh, okay. Before it's something more of the technology. So Excellent. Look at me. It's jumping right to the tech. Yeah, yes. <laughs> All right. So. There we have Francesco. Hi guys. Hi. He is, um, oh, we have to wear safety belts. Yeah. Also the First guy behind did. the camera that nobody sees, but uh, <laughs> otherwise it would be a little bit dangerous. Trust me, you will need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you're now in a Bosch engineering car oh, where we okay. have this prototype function of a automatic emergency braking on cyclists. We're approximately driving 40 kilometers here on this street and we can start whenever we want. So there's actually a, a dummy person up there? Or just on the, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, but they're just watching the scene. Oh, so, they're just watching yeah, yeah, the they're scene. Just watching they're us. setting the stage. So, okay. Okay, here we go. Keep watching. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I think now you know why you need the safety belt. Definitely. <laughs> okay. And then you, you, you had your hands away from the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Excellent. this is not a tricky thing, but he didn't use the brake at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were, you were completely disengaged. Completely. Yeah. Completely disengaged from the car. It actually made me a little bit nervous when I saw you pull your hands back and your knees and the, the cyclist coming. Wow. Thanks so Thank much. You, you have much, an guys. exciting job. Thank you. No, Thank let's, you. Let's Exactly yeah. how this was made possible. Okay, easy thing. We. Oh, wait, wait. Close up. <laughs> Come back to the installation. <laughs> so, uh, the magic thing here is always a stereo video camera. So, we have a light here. Uh, so, this camera basically sees like a human eye. So, you have two eyes and you can see it's three dimensional. Uh, so, this camera is able to detect speeds, to detect distances, and pain. And therefore, it, it's very easy for them. That's very easy, but the camera is able to detect the Woody Radler and uh, examine how, how fast he is and how fast we have to brake that we don't have an accident. Now, one of the most interesting parts about this, we were thinking about doing this earlier in the day, and there was quite a lot of rain. Yeah. And we were pretty excited to maybe do this demo in the rain because of like the the increased difficulty. Yeah. In in. in in like the execution of the of the braking. And one of the interesting things that you told me this morning was that even if Woody did get like make contact, it might be like half a kilometer an hour or something like quite slow. Because like these real-time calculations are actually mm -hmm. able to work in such dramatic conditions. Yeah. So ideally we can totally avoid the accident. Yeah. But even if we would touch even Woody a little bit, uh, we would have approximately two or three kilometers per hour. And uh, this is quite a big difference uh, when you start from 40 kilometers per hour. So, so, right. so can you tell us anything else about the car? Yeah. Like, um, what's up? Actually, what's up there? Oh, okay. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty easy. This is a GPS sensor, but it has nothing to do with the function. This is just that Rudy knows when he has to start that we hit him. Ah. Uh, the um, there's also a possibility to use, uh, for example, a radar sensor uh, instead of the camera to realize um, uh, emergency braking function. Uh, this would be mounted here. Oh, you see it. We have mm -hmm. one inside, but it's not used for that function today. Okay. So this would be possible, or you can use a combination of radar sensor and the mono camera. So basically three different ideas uh, to realize more safety on the street. If you like to, we can watch one more time. One more Outside. time. Okay. All right. So actually, I was really interested about how 
Woody gets sent forward. This is yeah. this kind of like street contraption here is pretty neat. You see him like accelerate yeah. ahead. Yeah, this is basically the original test track from Euro NCAP we used uh, to show the test here. So uh, Euro NCAP is testing new vehicles um, about the safety and um, they use exactly the same setup. So this is exactly the same setup that we would see in a professional testing environment. Yeah, right. This is exactly the same. Exciting. Okay, I, right. I turn around and I see the car. All right. Here he comes. Come, come, come. Here he comes. Here he comes. Okay. Now let's see. Okay, who is coming? Who is coming? And? And? Oh, he did it. He Every did it single again. time it gets me. <laughs> My goodness. So this is here at IA. If you're going to attend the conference and come down and see it, is there a chance that the average person will be able to to, to ride in this car? Can you set meetings, or is it like oh, a, yeah. a special a special hashtag to like win a ride or something? <laughs> no, it's pretty really easy. Um, at the, at the public days, um, mm -hmm. people, I invite you, just come to the Agora uh, outside area, right. it's at 4, come to the Bosch booth and uh, we will try to offer you a ride. Wow, so excellent. Don't forget, with Bosch you're safe. With Bosch you're safe. So, did I miss anything about this very cool ride? Because I, I'm, a, I'm a little distracted with this amazing dummy here. Oh, he here. lost the leg. <laughs> <laughs> he was cycling too fast. <laughs> no, but like this is actually a really exciting real life, you know, kind of like safety system. And when we first saw it, Mark and I, we just happened to be walking around and we were here right exactly. And we were both like quite shocked, yep. like really taken by surprise. We had to like stop walking because it was so, it was so distracting. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that we thought that a cyclist was going to get hit, mm -hmm. right? And safety definitely is one of those things that's forefront in, in automotive, I think automation for me personally. Yep. Yep. So are there, are there any other kind of cool facts that we might have missed out on? Oh. Well, let's say the cool fact is um, that there's a lot of intelligence behind because it's not about you just have to break. Uh, oh my God, somehow, it's happening again. Oh, there yeah. he is again. It's really that you have to calculate do I have to break? So think about the, the, the Woody is, Woody is um, driving a little bit faster, then you would have not have a. Um, the emergency situation at all, and then the car should not break. This is very right. And this is the, the intelligence behind that uh, we can calculate do we have to break is the critical situation, or should we better drive on because we can process without danger. Now, I have, I have one question about where the compute is happening because there's a lot of talk within the automotive industry about you know taking the data off the car and, and giving, giving the giving hard data from, from the cloud. Yeah. Now, obviously, I believe that these calculations should happen real time. Oh, the car is happening again! Whoa! <laughs> it's with the the silver silver yeah. but, but what is the relationship between the cloud calculations and the car calculations? Ah, okay. Now, this function is totally on board, so you don't need a, a, a cloud uh, to calculate anything uh, with that functionality here. Uh, but you could use the cloud to realize um, safety functions. One example, um, you maybe know um, ESP or ESC, um, so the electronic stability control. Uh, this um, system prevents skidding. So and therefore there are sensors in the car, and these sensors can detect if the road is slippery. Today, um, just the car knows that and reacts um, that the driver is safe. But we could also send this information to the road, activate it, and then we know the next curve is slippery or icy right. and this information is sent to other cars that will approach that curve and they know in advance that there will be a slippery or icy road and this uh, is also kind of a big potential when we use it now. Definitely, the car to car communication is going to be key for increasing road safety in general. Yep. Awesome. Well thanks so much for taking the time to join us on this live stream. I always like to kind of bring a little bit of the show onto the internet. So give us some likes, give us some hearts if you want to see some more from EIA 2017. Thanks so much, Walter. You're welcome. Bye.